Hi, welcome to this brand new part, part 33 of this playlist. We are looking at some of the real certification questions around AWS Cloud Practitioner. So please focus on the concepts. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not hit yet. Do not forget to click the join button at the bottom of this video. I'm also putting the link in the description. So if you are clicking the join button, you should at least join Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja because all certification content will be available there. So this is a question which is saying that the worldwide architecture of AWS comprises of regions, AZs and what else? So AZs are actually your data centers. Okay, and uh, if we look, we do have edge locations. So edge locations, uh, these are sites that CloudFront uses to cache copies of your content for faster delivery. So the global delivery, if you see, it com comprises of regions, availability zones. Like from a region perspective, these are the different regions as a sample. Then you also see edge location. So this is what we have to answer in our question. The edge locations are situated in these locations. You can pause the video here and read this section carefully. What are regions, what are AZs, and what are services? So D is my final answer. Data center is wrong because data center is a part of AZ. It is not a separate entity as it is. VPCs, you can use this to launch AWS resources in your virtual network. So this is wrong in this context because this is, you, VPCs are created using uh, edge locations or AZs or regions. And then we have data fiber network links. If you are trying to create a direct connect or something of that sort, then we lay down cables between your premises on premises as well as AWS data centers but this is not a part of you know uh, the global reach the first important building blocks are regions AZs and edge locations so this would be my final answer so if you see this question is talking about it wants to know when an API request is sent basically API activities is the, that is what you want to track if you want to track that activities CloudTrail is the service so it tracks user activities and API usage. It is just like what it is just like the security guard or the swapping punching machine in your office. It will keep track of the activity, who comes in, who goes out, etc. Now these are the customers already making use of this service. So cloud trail would be my answer. CloudWatch, if you see, the primary purpose is to monitor the resources. It is not monitoring the activities. Remember, cloud trail monitors activities and API usage. CloudWatch monitors AWS resources and applications in cloud as well as on-premises. So there are two different purposes. So CloudWatch is wrong in this context. Amazon Inspector is a security solution. If you see this inspector, it automates the vulnerability management at scale. It is just like your cop who is located uh, near your apartment complex who will ensure security. Like what is vulnerability management? Bad players trying to access your network, similar to the police. Bad people getting into your apartment complex is what is restricted. So it is a security solution. It is not going to monitor the activities specifically. The cops outside, they are not monitoring each and every activity. Now, if you talk about IAM, this is used for providing authentication services and access. So it will help you manage identities and access to AWS services and resources. In your office, there is there would be a section who would provide you access on your ID cards. They would provide you access. IAM is similar to that. This would be my final answer. So in this question, we have to address like what out of these will help you with low latency. Okay, low latency means high performance. Like if you have a website and a low latency website, that means the moment you type amazon.com you will get an instant response the moment you click something on that website you will get an instant response so our first option is fault tolerance see fault tolerance is you have the application deployed on two az's if one az fails or goes down then your application will still run in another az so we have a whole documentation on fault tolerance but this is not going to help you with your high performance or low latency needs. So I am marking fault tolerance as wrong. Second one talks about global reach. See, this is something which will help you with low latency because 
see global reach means i have my web application like amazon.com and people in india can access it people in us can access it people in singapore france germany can access it so if i do a multi region deployment of my application amazon.com then it will help people in germany to access my application faster it will help people in usa if i do a region de deployment in say uh, north america then people in canada people in usa they will find the application faster so that is low latency so global reach is my answer the pay as you go will not give you low latency whether you pay as you go or you book reserved instances the latency would be same that would not change for this pay as you go will only help you to pay in bits and pieces that is reduce your capex cost i repeat reduce your capital expenses that is capex and increase and increase your operating expenses so upfront you don't have to pay money it is just like emi upfront if you want to buy an apartment for like like 12 crores or 15 crore rupees then upfront you don't have to pay that amount you can get a loan and you can pay emi pay as you go is similar to that high availability will not help you with low latency high availability means you do a multi ac deployment of your application if one ac goes down then the other ac is still up that means your application is highly available now so so this would be my final answer so this brings us to the end of this part please hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet there is also an option to click the join button below this video with a small premium you can become a member and you will gain access to some special real certification questions apart from what i am uh, sharing for free and there will be also a wide variety of knowledge base remember this channel is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications it might be azure aws or gcp google cloud okay stay tuned to receive notifications for many more parts this brings us to the end of part 33 see you in the next part